Yo, what is up? MJ Smooth back with some more Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. Last episode, we went to go face Android 18 as Vegeta, and we just got owned. Yes, we did. And now, oh my gosh, car, car outside is being loud. We are playing as Trunks, so we gotta go to Ginger Town because Bulma has shown us a new capsule, like time machine, and it does not. Look, stupid snake, back off. It does not look the same as, well, forget it. I don't know what I'm talking about. We just gotta go to Ginger Town. Let's go, Trunks. Ginger Town! Alright, here we are. Ginger Town. Outside of Ginger Town, my bad. Ha! <laughs> outside Ginger Town, the, the town full of gingers. I'm just kidding. Hey, Yadrobi! I guess you're expecting me to give you a sense of being right. Well, guess what? I'm tired of running all over the place. From now on, you'll have to get it yourself. Go to Corrin's, blah, 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 and he'll get you one. Okay. Well, I don't care about you either. Fine. Cool. Sweet. Safe state. Let's go. Continuing on. Hey, Ninja Guys, what's up? How you doing? Oh, more Dr. Tr okay, why are they still here if he's d dead? There's, there's no reason they should be here. Oh, well. Let's go. We need to find that time machine. Let's go. Get... Oh, boy, you get a good job. Leave me alone. Hey, oh, stop it! Stop... Okay, boy, stop it. I hate you guys. Anyway, common question of the day. Um... Oh, these are always really hard to come up with. Ah. Ooh, golden capsule. Okay, here's a good one. If you were a Dragon Ball character, what would be your favorite catchphrase? Goku's, I think, is... Um... Something having to do with food, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just, I don't know. I, I'm just, just come up with your own catchphrase and tell me what it would be for if you were a Dragon Ball character. Anyway, leveled up. That's awesome. These guys need to die. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna get bodied. No. No. Hmm. It's a good beat. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Robot. Whoa, that was weird. Everything started to glitch. I don't like glitching. Glitching. All right. Where is this time? Okay. Let me look. Where is it? Oh, press the wrong button. Down. Is it down? Is it down? Seriously? No. Yes. Maybe so. I don't know. There's a lot of places in Ginger Town I never knew that there were. Oh my gosh. It's got to be here somewhere, right? Oh, but there is a Trunks Gate. I can see that. Uh, okay, forget it. We're just going to continue on. Alright, ow. Give me a chicken. Give me that chicken. The one, the chicken that you guys drop every time you get killed. Steal your chicken. Okay. Come on, Trunks. Die squirrel. I'm just kidding. I can't kill squirrels anymore. Yo, what is this? Here it is. I don't get it. What happened here? This time capsule looks like it's been here a pretty long time. And look at the dome. It's melted, but the blast came from the inside. Why would someone want to do that? It doesn't make sense. Hmm. What's this? What in the world are those? They look like turtle shells. My guess is that they're eggshells of some kind. Wait a second, maybe whatever came out of the egg made the made that hole in the dome. Huh. I'm just gonna look at it from this angle where you can't see. Hey guys, I just I just checked the computer and I figured out when the capsule landed here. It was four years ago! Dun 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 No. That just might explain a few things. It means that by the time I battled Frieza three years ago, whoever used his time machine had already been here for a year. Is it possible that he's the one who changed history? <gasps> what? There can't be any other explanation. Maybe whatever it was is still nearby. Let's look for it. I'm gonna go this way. 
And now I'm gonna stay here because I I I I I'm scared. I I'm too I'm too afraid. All right, mom. Let's go ahead and just leave you here, where like nothing bad would happen. <laughs> anyway, say state. Do I want to be Gohan or? You know, I'm gonna stick with Trunks. Gosh, this music. This music is. Mm, I love it. I love it. Hey. Hey, Bernie face. Giving me leveling up. Giving me leveling up. That's the best way of saying that. I can't talk right. Oh well. It's a free country. I can talk anywhere I want. You. Yeah. That's why I'm trunks. That's why. Burn. I don't know why I went this way. There's nothing interesting. To except this guy who needs to die. He needs to be killed by my hand. And so Ew. What is... Uh, Sun back off. Look at that. That thing is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like whatever it is crawled off after it shed its skin. It looks like actually a cicada or something. Ha! Huh? Do you think it's some sort of giant cicada? Didn't I just say that, Boba? Weren't you listening? Do you need to take some hearing aids or something? This might be what hatched out of that eggshell. <gasps> what? What if that thing is still around here? I can't imagine anything more revolting. Oh yeah, like you're so pretty too. Yeah. Listen guys, I'm leaving. We, we should really head back to Roshi's Island. If the androids attack there, they might need our help. Back at Kami's Lookout. For the last four years, I have felt a terrible disturbance taking shape on the earth below. A great evil. But it wasn't the androids that I sensed. There is another threat. A vile creature, which I'm afraid will prove to be a hundred times more lethal than cunning than even the androids. It's called... Puberty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm stupid. Sorry! What are you talking about? Explain yourself right now. Hey, Krillin. Come look at what's on TV. Uh, how should I give this guy? He looks like... Why does this guy have a Hitler mustache? Why in the world? He has glasses, odd poop-like shaped hair, and a mustache like Hitler. Why in the... You know what? I'm gonna give him the voice of Tom Tucker from, from Family Guy. Coming to you live from Gendertown to recap the situation. All activity in the West City suburb of Gendertown came to a screeching halt this morning when the entire population mysteriously vanished into thin air. All of the 15,000 residents have suddenly disappeared. Piles of garments lay scattered throughout the city. It's as though these people were sucked right out of their clothes. There are, there are also indications that these people may have been trying to defend themselves against someone or something. This is terrible. Those androids must be behind this. I doubt it was the androids, Krillin. I have a feeling this has something to do with some sort of strange creature we found evidence of. You old fool. You like... You like keeping me in suspense, don't you? Why won't you tell me what is going on down there? It's awful. It's even worse than I feared. I have AIDS. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Kami. <laughs> hey, yo, Kami, honey. Look, old man, I have no intention of asking you again. I need to know what's happening on Earth. Yes, but telling you is pointless now. What? Why? Because when you and I become one, you will know you're for yourself. So you finally came to your senses. I was beginning to wonder how long it would take. Our union will make you more powerful, Piccolo, and you will obtain my vast knowledge. I hope you will use these new powers wisely and not be such a douche and use them for bad and evil stuff. No, Kami. No. no you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't care too much. I, I, I can take care of this place myself. I'm just joking, Kami. There is nothing to worry about, Popo. Piccolo has changed. The evil that once filled his entire being has greatly diminished. And when we unite, I trust he will use our combined powers in the service of good. I thank you for all you've done for me, Popo. Gosh, I spit on my screen again. Oh my goodness, it's disgusting. Goodbye, Kami. I'll miss you. Please be careful as I walk down these stairs like a boss. Fusion! Ha! Piccolo has achieved level 21, and he has learned... The new 
power to, to you know what? Forget it. It's called the Piccolo has now become a super dynamic form. Yes, he can use scatter shot. I love scatter shot. No longer am I Kami or Piccolo. I am Kamikolo. The Namek who has long since forgotten his name. Oh, I love that name. Kamikolo. I must go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we heading to? To, to, to. We are heading to Ginger Town, right? Towards the land of the gingers. Yes. Okay, it's somewhere. Ow. What? I can't. I forgot. I need to level Piccolo up to 25. So, yeah. Give me one sec. You might have to watch this. Sorry. Oh, well. Forget it. You're going to have to watch it. Come on. New things. Ooh, this could be easy. Just level me up right here. I said level me up right here. Bug. Die. Taste the power of Kamikala! 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 Ow! Stupid rock. Ah! Yo! No body, Piccolo. Yeah! Alright, we're gonna come back down here. We're gonna level up again up there. Ow! Alright. Level up again. I just wanna get through this game real fast for you guys so I don't have to die. Like, some people, like, do know that play this game and just died. And it's like, yo, I don't want to see you die. I want to see you play this game over one time. One time. Can I play this game one time without dying? Anyway, yeah. So, another question for you guys. I leveled up again, yes. Do you guys mind when I sing, when I do my videos? Because if not, um, I can just tell you one thing. Forget you! It would, I don't care if you like it or not. I'm just going to do it because I want to, and it's my job. It's my hobby. It's my life. Alright, as we defeat this guy, and I think we can just defeat this robot right here. And, oop, he's over there. There we go. Now we are at level 25. We can go ahead and punch that gate right in the face like a boss. And go find out what's going on. And then after that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video off. And I will see you guys in the next video. But right now, we're continuing on. Punch that gate. Can I go in this house? Can I? Can I get in this house? Does there appears to be nothing interesting. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Ew. Oh, whoops. Again. Ew, people were disrobed themselves. What the world? I'm only kidding. I, I already know. Hey, look. I, look at this camera. I could use this camera to go ahead and just videotape my stuff. Dang, man. Shoot. I could just use that. I'm, I, I could just done that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cutsy. <gasps> what the heck is that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Spoiler alert, if you already know this, obviously, yeah, you should, because that's Cell, it's okay, I'm gonna try to get my best Cell impression, it's gonna suck balls, but it's okay, I can do it. Now that I've gotten all of this vermin out of the way, you're next, Piccolo. What did you say? What's the matter? You seem afraid, Piccolo. No, far from it. Now tell me, how do you know my name? One might say that we're brothers. <laughs> Who are you? My secrets will not be unlocked so easily. I'll still destroy you, whoever you are. Such a fighting spirit. I will enjoy absorbing you, Piccolo. I'm going to end this every sentence that I say with you, Piccolo, because you are such a douche, Piccolo. I hate you, but I love you so much, Piccolo. Shut up! You keep using that name, Piccolo. He is gone. You can call me the Namek. Like the planet? Yes, like the planet. And as for you, well, your history. Blast you in the face and like totally didn't hit you. I'm impressed, Namek. Your power is astounding. You will make a most satisfying meal. 
Yum, 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 yum. Don't count on it, freak. Hey, come here. Come here so I can punch you. Yo, get... Uh-uh, don't absorb me. Don't absorb me, man. Get jawed. Bouncy house. Get freaking... I'm gonna get... Uh, uh. Yeah, get destroyed. Get wrecked. Uh, take it. Now, who are you? What kind of a twisted mind would think to send you here in a time machine? Huh? I came here of my own accord. You seem to know as much, Piccolo. But you have a lot to learn. Kame! Kame! Oh my god, that's hurting my throat. It can't be. The Kamehameha wave is Goku's attack. Oh, ooh, sorry. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Ha! Ah, blast your face, yeah. Oh, my arm. My arm is gone. I got you now. Resistance is useless. Resistance is futile. Ah! In no time at all, your energy will be mine. Oh, mine! Face it, Piccolo. Time's up. Without your arm, you are no match for me. You're right. I can't fight without my arm. I have no choice but to surrender to the likes of you. You finally realize the futility, the futility, the little letting I wish I knew how to say words correctly. English, please. Futility of your efforts, but don't feel bad, Piccolo. You'll soon be a part of something far greater than you realize. What do you mean? You will be absorbed into. Yo, mom! I'm kidding. Perfection. All right. But before I submit to you, I ask that you honor my final request. Tell me, who are you? And why do I sense Goku's energy in you? And Frieza's, and Vegeta's, and mine, and Krillin's somehow. Very well. My name is Cell. Hint, hint, told y'all already. I'm an android created by the great Dr. Jiro. In his efforts to create a supreme fighting organism, Dr. Jiro devised a means by which he could fuse the cells of the world's greatest fighters into one, and then cultivate that cell into a single entity, me. Unfortunately for the good doctor, he realized this project was far too complex to be completed in his lifetime. So he programmed his computer to finish the enormous task which he had begun. Many of the greatest warriors have had cells collected by Dr. Jiro's tracking devices. Oh my god, this guy talks too much. Please shut him up. As we speak, Dr. Jiro's computer has already gathered the cells that it needs for my completion back at the lab. You're wrong. We destroyed Dr. Jiro's lab and all of his equipment. <laughs> Luckily, the computer was hidden in a bunker deep below Jiro's lab. Now enough chit-chat. Wait. One more question. Why are you here? Why did you come to this time? I suppose I can answer this last one. It's quite simple, really. Is it really that simple unless you're going to talk so long that I had to, you know, destroy my, my vocal cords just to sound like you? God. I do not realize my full power from the energy of humans alone. I am looking for a very specific source of energy. I require the energy of Android 17 and 18. You see, even the powers of Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza pale in comparison to that of the androids. It is for this reason that I must obtain this strength for myself. Unfortunately, in my time period, Android 17 and 18 have somehow been destroyed by drugs. Luckily, I discovered- Oh my god, you said it was gonna be simple. Why are you talking so long, man? Jeez. Luckily, I discovered that Trunks possessed a time machine, which I decided to borrow for myself. I dispensed with trunks quite easily. But in order to fit into the time machine, I was forced to regress to my larval state. After traveling in the past, I had to wait until I could regain my fighting shape. So now he's talking like he's a freaking butterfly. Caterpillar turned into a butterfly, going into a, a chrysalis or whatever. I burrowed under the ground, and for the last four years, I've been lying in wait. Just... Get... Just... Just stating... Yeah... Word... Into the form you see today. And now, once I absorb these androids, I will become the most powerful being who has ever lived. But what for? Stop asking questions, Piccolo! Oh my god, you're gonna make him talk more! You are already the most powerful being in your own time. This is true, but I need Android 17 and 18 in order to be complete. 
It was what I was programmed to do. Of course, it could be just the DNA of Frieza and Vegeta coursing through my body, causing me to thirst for more power. Now, are we done talking? I really hope we are. Thank you, Pickle. Yes, I'm ready. You said more than enough. I just needed a little time. Ah, grow my arm back like that. Yes. You tricked me. That's right. I'm afraid you haven't even come close to seeing the depths of my abilities. Don't think I won't pay you back for taking my arm. Maybe I'll take yours. Hey, yo, man, I'm Trunks. I'm Kr oh, God, Krillin, I'm sorry. I interrupt your speaking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that creature's skin. It must be the thing that came out of that capsule. Trunks is here. Stupid boy, as if being killed by me in his own timeline was, wasn't enough. Huh? Hey, yo, man, I'm mad that you cut me off, man. I was about to say something before you even had to say anything, man. Gosh, now I gotta go ahead and just say these last three words. What's going on? I'll explain that soon, right after I destroy that thing. You think you can defeat me? Don't flatter yourself. Ha! Huh, you're outnumbered and outmatched. Piccolo, you're stupid. You know that don't work. Especially if your beauty Kamehameha technique is the best that you can do. You all must feel honored. Soon you will be part of the perfect being. But I have other business to, business to attend to, so you'll have to be patient. I'll observe you later. Goodbye. Flying away. Hey, yo, man, I'm Vegeta. <laughs> I sensed enormous power levels in this region. Who are you? You can't be Piccolo. You may look like him, but... Gosh, he was much more of a douche than you are. There's no way the real Piccolo could have such incredible fighting power. You're right, Vegeta. I fused with Kami. I am now Kamikolo. What? Fused with Kami? So what? Now that you, I, I, I can't talk. Hey, yo, man, I'm a three-eyed punk. Tien. Hey, I got her as soon as I could. Hey, Piccolo, or, uh, I mean Kami, or, uh, what do I call you? Oh, just call me freaking Piccolo, man. I'm not gonna even tell you again that I fused with Kami and that I became Kamikolo, but I'm not gonna call me that because I hate that name. So still just call me Piccolo. We have two choices. We can either track down and destroy Cell or find Android 17 and 18. This monster wants to absorb the Android so he can become more powerful. What's going on? What is that thing? I'll explain everything to you. And then we have to go back to Dr. Jero's lab. I'm on it! I'm so mad, man. Trunks, how dare you do that to me? Yeah, freaking Krillin. Uh, I, yo, man, I, I got you. It's alright. Alright, so, in the next episode, I'm going to go back to Dr. Jero's lab. Narrator, take it away. As Piccolo had fought off this evil creature named Cell, who was trying so bad to find Androids 17 and 18, he was told that they had, that, yeah, he was created in a lab of Dr. Jero's, hidden in a cave somewhere. I'm saying this sentence so bad, but you know what? Forget it. Will we be able to find the basement in Dr. Jero's lab? Will we be able to fight off this creature? Will Piccolo, Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, Tien, Krillin, and Gohan be able to stop the androids' tyranny before this creature goes after them first? Find out next time in Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2.